Welcome to Mastermind Gameplay, where sometimes supply routes are mobile. Today, we're going to take a look at this new Exchanger Rover. This Exchanger Rover was uniquely built just to supply and remove ore from tunnel drillers. As you can see, it's equipped with rail riders. Basically, it'll stay in line on the rail going all the way through the tunnel so you don't have to worry about hitting the wall or anything. And it will perfectly line up with the machine. This is just a demonstration on my home station where it will match up with this connector. We may just have to finagle the height of the wheels a little bit to line it up. I typically set the height at negative 25 when I'm transversing to the tunnel driller itself, and then I lower it back down in order to meet the same height as the connector. I set the station connector the same way. Sometimes it can be a little bit finicky if you're not directly in the rail, but for the most part, it works every time. There we are, just lower the chassis. And we are perfectly lined up. Easy connect. And of course, everything in white is what we're sitting on. And we'll just disconnect. When you get to the end of your rail, don't forget to lift these lower rail gear back up. Otherwise, you may end up with a situation like that. But I have modified these where they will not allow you to get stuck very easily. There we go. They perfectly fold away so it can continue to move and won't drag on the ground. The friction of the main gear 5x5 wheels is set to 100%. This is just so we can make it across the ice fairly easy and any other routes especially on the rail because the steel seems to be a little bit more slippery than say rocks are this rover is equipped with several different types of lights on it that way we can easily see our way into a tunnel what we have to do is climb up here I'm going to lower the aft ones first. If you put the aft dual ones in the rail first, it usually lines up the front ones pretty accurately. You can see it kind of move around a little bit. And then the front ones come down. The front ones are each a double hinge and rotor set. There we go. Now, if you don't have these rails, your vehicle will wander a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right, which will cause you to hit these walls. But with the rail set, it'll keep you on track. We're just going to kind of inch up here. You can see my crosshairs in the front. So and kind of estimate exactly how far it is and we're right up against it but as you could see we're still a little bit too tall so we just lower the chassis here and it's a perfect lineup this is our tunnel drilling machine from earlier now before I connect this I think I'll show you that we're not actually connected See, all of ours in this rover are going to be white. There's absolutely nothing in here but some ice. This is powered by two hydrogen generators. Okay, and when I connect it, and you look through here, all the ones on the tunnel driller are orange. Besides the drills and a couple other things. But for the most part, they're all orange. See, and then there's our medium cargo containers. And here is some magnesium that we want to remove. And we want to put some of this ice into the tunnel driller just so it doesn't run out. 
I'm going to put, say, 5,000 kilograms. That should do it for now. I can always come back with more later. And we have quite a bit of gravel in there we're going to remove as well. Now the original setup on the tunnel driller, Survival, did not allow me to move any of this stuff from the medium cargo container into the connector. So what I did is I added these small conveyor tubes from the middle of the chassis so that way it would deposit into the connector. Without it on here, I'll show you, it just grays out. So if we scroll all the way back down to this magnesium and try to transfer it into our medium color container, it doesn't work. However, if I go ahead and put this small conveyor angle back on, like so wait for it to turn green yep we're good and then try to transfer it it will allow me to transfer it to the exchanger rover there we go and directly into our medium cargo container and then we'll also pick up all this gravel too, just to make it easier on the tunnel driller. It does build up fairly quickly. And that should be it. Looks like everything else is pretty much empty on here. Okay, so let's go ahead and disconnect. And now we should have it in our old holding and not in a tunnel driller anymore. And we're going to take this back to our home station. It's a pretty simple process. You can find this rover on the Steam platform and build it just to try it out. I think it does make it a lot easier, especially if your base is not right next door and you have to actually travel about 500 meters or more to deposit or exchange ore. With the survival kits on the tunnel driller, it just doesn't have the capability of breaking down magnesium. Oh, it's a little squirrely sometimes trying to get up these hills. As mentioned before, I put the rear rail gear in first. And it looks like it's a little bit off. There we go. Before I put the forward gear, that way the forward ones will line up a lot easier since there's only one of them on each side. Once set in place, we should just be able to roll forward to the next connector. If you have a lot of resistance, it may be because you're still at zero. So raising your gear up and down might assist. So you're not dragging on the bottom. And there we have it. We're connected again. And let's see. Where did that ore go? Hmm, I wonder... Since we are now the subgrid, the main grid with the refineries have already stolen the magnesium. If you wanted to prevent this, you could always turn your connector on off where it's not using the conveyor system anymore. But I just keep it on automatic so it'll take out what we don't want in this rover and make our next round. And that's about it. It's not that classy, it kind of looks like a tractor, but it definitely gets the job done. Well, back to work. Got to do some more mining.
As always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and please feel free to leave your tips and tricks in the comment section. I appreciate it.